So in this video, we are having a look at our geographical skill of how to measure area. And um, there's two different parts we have to look at here when we're looking at area. We're going to look at the area of a regular shape. And we're going to look at the area of an irregular shape. Okay, so those are the two things that we're, you're, you're going to have to know about. Let's start with our, our easiest one, our regular shape. So how do we get the area of our regular shape? Very, very simple. All we do is we count the number of boxes. So very often in sight in the exam, they'll ask you to get the area of the entire map, for example. So how would I go about getting the area for the entire map here of Dungarvan? Well, very, very simple, very straightforward. I'm going to count the number of boxes. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine okay now i could continue to count all the boxes but that's going to take me a lot of time so to speed things up i count the number of boxes across the top then i'm going to count the number of boxes up the side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve once i've got that i now have two figures i have nine boxes across the top and i'm going to multiply that number by the number of boxes up the side. So in other words, it's the length of the map multiplied by the width, 9 twelves, 108. So the area of my map is 108 kilometers squared. Okay, now sometimes they might ask you to get the area of perhaps an area uh, that might be a little bit smaller than the entire map, but again, it might be a regular shape. So what they might do is they might ask you to get the area of the entire uh, grid square s so they might say in the area north of the um nording zero zero so here's our nording zero zero the north of it is up here so what have i got to do again and count the boxes one two four five six seven eight nine i know there's nine there and i can count all the boxes so i'm going to do that again so obviously i know i've got that multiplied by two so the area of this area here to the north of nording zero zero is going to be 9 multiplied by 2. That gives me 18 kilometers squared. Okay, so that's our regular, our regular shape. That's that one done. Okay, uh, and that's very easy and that's very straightforward. However, sometimes they do ask you to, uh, uh, to get the area of an irregular uh, shape. So with that in mind, we're going to look for the area of Dungarvan Bay, right? So what have I got to do? I've got to pick out the area that's marked Dungarvan Bay. I can see it there clearly. It's the entire blue area here. And what I do is I count the, all the boxes that are at least half full or more with the blue uh, that represents the sea or the coastline. So I'm going to start here. Should I mark this one? Yeah, probably um, not going to in this case. Very marginal. So I'm going to go one, two can't count this one, three, can't count this one, four, I would say five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So the area of Dungarvan Bay is 15 kilometers squared. That's very, that's literally all I've got to do. Sometimes they might ask you to get the area of all of the land over 200 meters, for example. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to highlight the area of land that's 200 meters or above. And you can see that that is represented by the contour lines uh, and the change in color. Okay, so there's my 200. And you can see anything to the north of that is what I'm looking for. So again, same principle applies really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the boxes that are half full or more with the area of land that's 200 meters or above. I can't count this one. So I go one, two, three, four, five. Can't count this. Not enough. Six, seven, eight. Can't count this. Not enough. Nine, ten, eleven. Can't count this. Not enough. Twelve and thirteen. So the area of land over... 200 meters is equal to 13 kilometers squared. So that's how you calculate the area of regular and irregular shapes on an ordnance survey map.